Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steam Crawley coming to you with a video. Today some more VGC18 here on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm already here in the team preview again. I apologize. I keep on forgetting to hit record. So our first opponent's gonna have Mawile, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Ludicolo, Politoed, and Gothitelle. So this is a Parish uh, Rain team, I believe. He's got two potential Parish song users. And he's got Shadow Tag with uh, Gothitelle. And then he's also got the rain option. Probably gonna have Thunder on top of Coco. Mega Mawile is the only Mega possibility here. And then Fake Out support from the Incineroar. So I think I wanna bring. So I definitely need to bring. Uh, I, I guess I could bring. In, well, I don't wanna bring Incineroar. I definitely need to bring Aegislash here. I think I wanna bring Gardevoir as well. So, let's do Zapdos Feeny as my lead with Gardevoir Aegislash in the back. It's kind of a risky lead, if he, especially if he decides to lead with Gothitelle. But if he leads with Rain, this will be a very strong lead for me. So we'll see, I've been struggling a little bit with this team. I'm a, I'm a big Protect user, and there's what, two Pokemon? Only two, but... Okay, so... Interesting lead. I mean, I guess it's a strong lead for him. There's not much I can do against him. He also has the... Option. Okay, well, I, luckily I do get rid of his terrain, and then he does have the option of bringing in Politoed for Ludicolo and going for a Thunder, or something similar. I don't threaten that much damage onto the top of Coco, though. So I'll just tail in and protect turn one here. There's not much he can do to Zapdos besides, like, an Ice Beam. Okay, Fake Out. Okay. And the Volt Switch. Oh, okay. Predicting the Protect. Not bad, not bad. Decent damage for a Volt Switch out of terrain. It might be Specs, if we didn't see a Life Orb there. But I'd expect it to be... Well, I guess it could be Specs Thunder. So here he could bring in Politoed. Yeah, there's the Politoed, okay. So, I guess it could be Z-Move, uh, Woody Colo as well. So... I don't, I'm not even gonna bother with the Tailwind here. Uh... I'm gonna hit the Thunderbolt on the Ludicolo. I'll set up a combined with Feeny. The Giga Drain, okay. Yeah, about as much as I was expecting it to do. Eh, not too bad damage there from the Thunderbolt. We do get combined, so we can take another Giga Drain, and it'll proc our berry. And the Ice Beam, okay. So, what are we going to do here? I'm going to protect Zapdos. And I'll go for the Calm Mind into Ludicolo. Uh, he shouldn't be only... The only way he can knock out Feeny is with a crit here. Because it'll just proc my berry. And then I'll be able to get off damage. I guess, oh, he's going to heal. It's... Okay. I guess that's also something I didn't consider the heal from the Giga Drain. Okay. And then... Let's see how much this does. Okay. And then the Ice Beam. Okay, so... I'm going to Z-move here into the Ludicolo. Or do I want to go into the... Oh no, because I need a... 
Well, I guess a Thunderbolt. Well, no, because there's no point going for just Thunderbolt. I need, I'm going to Z move here. I was just thinking maybe into the Politoed. So it, he can't reset up Rain. But I'll do that. And then. Let's see. Do I want to protect with Feeny or do I want to set up another Combine? No, I'm going to Moonblast. I don't know if the Gigavolt Havoc will be enough. Okay. So I should be able to trade a knockout here. And we've stalled out Rain quite a bit. He's only been using Giga Drain, so he's only been taking advantage with speed. He hasn't been taking advantage with any water type moves. So. And what else does he know? That if he has a Scald. Or no. Okay, so let's see. I was thinking I could get off a bunch of damage off of Polito, but I really want to knock out this Woody Colo. Yeah. Okay, so he barely just hangs on. I could have gone for a Muddy Water. I just didn't want to risk a miss. I just want to knock this thing out. And then I can trade Zapdos. Okay, so yeah, now he goes for Scald. Maybe trying to save the PP of Ice Beam. I don't know. All right, so I'll bring in Gardevoir here. It's unfortunate Feeny has taken so much to Okay, and then in comes Tapu Koko. So here I can... Okay, so he's going to get the train up. I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to set up a Trick Room. And Protect. If I can get up Trick Room, that'll be nice. I'll be able to take care of this Tapu Koko easy. And I guess he can Z-move the Feeny to kill it through Protect. And he could even, if he Z-moves Gardevoir, he'll knock it out as well. If he just goes for a regular Thunder, I don't think it will, even if he's... Uh, if he specs, it'll be close. Okay, there's the Z-move. Okay. That, that Volt Switch did a lot on the Zapdos, then. People always talk about, like, bulky Zapdos with Tailwind. I don't really think... Maybe I just... I looked at the common sets, and it's not... Mine's EV, like, the common one. It doesn't seem very bulky. Alright, so he's going to knock out... Yeah. I was thinking about going for a double protect, but... Oh, wow. We, yeah. Okay. And the Scald. Okay, so... That, see, so if I protected there, that would have been huge. But, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, I think if I protected there, I probably would have won. Because the rain stopped in the fall, and then so this turn I could have just gone for the trick room, and there's nothing he could have done to stop it. He could have, he would have knocked out Feeny, but then I'd have Aegis Slash. So at this point, it's pretty much over. Go ahead and hit up the Tapu Koko with a double target. Okay, he's gonna. So let's see, is it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be Incineroar. I was thinking about going for Moonblast. And the Volt Switch, okay, so he's just going to reset up Rain. Which is fine. I guess it has to be Thunder on Tapu Koko. If not, I don't really see the point in resetting up the Rain. Especially since, well, I guess he has uh, Darkest Lair yet on Incineroar, but... Yeah, if I protected there, I probably... Let's see, especially with him having Incineroar. Eh, I guess it would have been close, because Feeny had already taken so much damage. I guess I should have brought... Uh, even though it was a rain team, I should have brought... Landorus. Because Landorus could have... Well, I, good thing, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Choice Band Landorus. I saw a lot of people talking about it. But it's just hard, because you if you don't outspeed anything, it's not going to matter. So I guess if I got up uh, Trick Room... I could have, uh, I would have, I would have been in a good shape with Choice Band Landers because I could have just spammed Earthquakes. Even against this Politoed, you saw how much that, well, I guess it was a Shadow Ball, but Earthquake eh, probably would have done about the same amount, so. Yeah, so that one turn, I mean, I didn't really have a good lead to start off with, but if I could have, uh, Either taking less damage with Feeny, or 
if I could have protected the turn he used his Z, his Z move and double targeted my Gardevoir, I, I might have been able to pull that one out. Because the following turn I would have got the Trick Room and then uh, I would have been able to... His Tapu Koko would have been in a really bad spot. Alright, so we're going to find our next opponent here with Sceptile, Scizor, Incineroar, Gyarados, Tapu Koko, and Komoo. So I do have to remember, this, well, if he does have Komo and I have Gardevoir, I just need to go for Psychic, not the Hyper Voice. Psychic is more than enough. And... Got pretty... Decent coverage here. All around. I think, or I, I want to bring Incineroar here. To deal with his... So it's going to be a Mega Sceptile. Why well, is it could be... No, Mega Sceptile. Or Mega Scizor, I guess. Probably Mega Sceptile. Don't want to use it outside of Mega... So Zapdos could be pretty good here. So I think I'll go with Zapdos. And I want to do Landers, but I can't. Um, I'll do Zapdos and Cinnabar, I guess. That, he doesn't really have anything to deal specifically with Zapdos. And then Cinnabar will have Fake Out Pressure. I definitely want Landers in the back. And... Tapu Fini is all right. I think I'll go with Gardevoir, though. Just because uh, the only thing he can really hit me with is going to be the Scizor. So if I can take care of that, I'll be in, a re I'll be in really good shape. Especially we saw the damage a uh, Gigavolt Havoc in terrain did to Gardevoir. Okay, Komo Scizor. I'm okay with this. I think it's a really good lead for me. Because here I can just fake out Komuo and then set up a Tailwind. And then Scissor is not going to be able to do any. Even a superpower, not going to matter. So this is a really good. Yeah, this is a strong lead for me. I just gotta deal with the Como. It's gonna be a little difficult because Como is gonna resist both, or pretty much all the moves except for Fake Out from my Incineroar. And as we've seen, Zapdos is not is not. Hit. Oh, okay. So I guess it makes his where. So he's not gonna have Sceptile on the back. One of the reasons I wanted to bring. Okay, so he's gonna protect. That's fine. Oh, I guess he could set up a Tailwind of his own. If I predicted that and went for the Flare Blitz and the Scizor, that would have been amazing. Actually, I, no, I didn't bring Fini. I was going to say, okay, so you guys have Sword Dance. That's fine. I was going to say, uh, I could switch in Fini and Gardevoir, but I didn't bring Fini. Um, so, see, I could. Well, he's going to hit me on the special side. Well, so that's what sucks. He's going to hit me on the special side. Well, I guess I can bring Gardevoir here. And, because yeah, I want to keep this thing around, Tapu Koko will power it up, and it'll be really good against his um, Gyarados if he brought it. So I'm going to switch in Gardevoir. I'll take, I won't take any damage from the Z-move. I guess if he goes for Bullet Punch, something I didn't consider. Okay, so he's going to protect. I mean, again, that's fine. And, so I mean, the thing... And, okay, so he's not even using a Z-move yet, at least. So that's going to do nothing to Incineroar. He's going to give me that juicy defense drop. So let me take... Because I know I'm not minimum speed. 105. So yeah, I'll definitely outspeed Komoo here. So... We'll shed him with Psychic. It's enough. Actually, I'm actually going to Protect here. I'm going to Mega Evolve Protect. Because I don't know if Scizor is going to have Bullet Punch. I assume it will. And I don't want to lose Gardevoir to that. And then if he switches here... Okay, he's going to Withdraw, which is fine. Into Gyarados, okay. So... Tailwind's getting stalled out pretty nicely. I mean, the thing, I'm okay with that switch, because at least we, he's, uh, and because the thing, stalling it out, I have Trick Room anyways, so it doesn't matter. Um, 
I just didn't want to lose Gardevoir, and he lost his Sword Stance. So this is going to do nothing. Okay, and are we going to see the Z move? No, close combat. So it's a, a mix set. Yikes. I mean, that's, I mean, I, in all honesty, that's, I mean, that's fine too. Because now I threaten a double knockout here. I guess he, I mean, he can always double protect. Don't get me wrong, because I think this is the last turn of Tailwind. Yeah. So I'll hit him up with a Psychic into Komoo and a Thunderbolt. I could go for the Z. Well, I guess, no, I'm not going to. I could go for the Z Thunderbolt. But to hit him through protect, but I still don't think it'll knock out. So he can double protect, but even the following turn, there's not much we, he can do. We've seen clanging scales, close combat, and protect on the Komuo. So yeah, he's just gonna switch. Okay, perfect. So I do have to be careful. We haven't seen Z move, so it's probably gonna be Z move on top of Coco. So he could go for whichever. I'm pretty much guarantee a knockout. It should do a lot of damage though. Yeah. Not as much as I thought. I should have gone for the or if I went for the Z move, would have been very nice. Okay, so it's my sp I'm faster now, right? 125. So with the tailwind I'll outspeed Tapu Coco anyways. So I could go for no, because I think he's going to target the Gardevoir here. Uh, I'm actually just going to pull a double protect of my own. I think he's going to Z move right here. And he's going to. So, I mean, see, he's just switching around. So, see. So, he's going for the. Is he not going to Z move? Because I don't know why you'd bring in Scizor if you're going to. What's if he's Z moving the Zapdos here? Bolt switch into Gardevoir. Okay. So let's see. I think here he might go for the Z move since I just protected. So I want to bring in Landorus and set up a Tailwind. Because this way, if uh, if he goes for an Electro type move, whether it's Z or not, into the Gardevoir slot, he'll be stuck in, and then I'll be able to outspeed him and just be able to go for an earthquake this next turn. So this guy's just playing the switch game. He's playing it nice and slow. He's pretty much just attacked like one time and picked up a one hit knockout. So we get off nice intimidate onto the scissor as well. So if it sets up, it only gets to plus one. And there's the Volt Switch. Uh, wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe it is. Maybe that one's Specs. But holy cow. Well, that one's got to be Specs. We saw the damage the last one did last game. It only did like a third, and that was outside of terrain. So, well, I guess here he might go for the Steel-type move into... The Gardevoir slot. Another sword stance, oh my gosh. So. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so he's running low on time. I could use that to my advantage. I just want to. Uh, here I'm just going to Earthquake. And Z move the Scizor. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm just gonna predict a protect from the Gyarados here, and bullet punch. Okay, I should take. Oh no, I can't actually. Oh, I can. Wow. Okay. So I do survive. I'm gonna pick up a knockout here onto the Scizor. Even if, uh, or we'll have to see. I don't even know if with the train up this might knock him out. No, I don't think so. But with Earthquake, Earthquake should be doing, like, 50% because I'm banded. Okay, so he barely hangs on. Now, 
going for Rock Slide might have been quote unquote better, but I just didn't want to risk a miss. So this way, even if he brings in Tabu Koko, uh, so he just protected protected with Gyarados, so he can go for a double protect, but he might not get it. I outspeed Tapu Koko, so he can't bring that in either. So he's gonna bring in Komuo. Okay. So I think I'm okay with. Well, let's see how many turns of Tailwind are left. I pretty much have to let uh, Landorus go down here anyway. And I'll protect with Zapdos. Okay, he's going to withdraw into Tapu Koko. Oh, actually, okay. Yes, yeah, so he just lost. Um, I don't, unless if Como has a, yeah, he just lost. I was, unless if Como has a priority move, it's over. Alright, so at this point... We haven't seen... Oh, no, we did see his Mega Evolution. Okay, there's his Z-move. Um, so, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so that gets Zapdos through the Protect. So, well, I guess uh, I'm actually... Hmm. That's actually unfortunate for me, because now I'm stuck in Earthquake. And so this is the last turn of Tailwind. He might protect to stall it out. But I could set up a Trick Room. But I don't know if that'd be enough. So I don't know if his... Hmm. Because I want to set up... This is the last turn of Tailwind. So I want to set up Trick Room, but I'm stuck in Earthquake. Let's see. I need it all at plus one. So, I don't know. I don't think my. I honestly don't think my Guard of Blair can take it. Only 128 defense. So, I'm going to have to protect. I think it's not even guaranteed that he's going to knock out my Landers here either. No, okay, so he's not. Oh, no, I guess I'm faster than both of his Pokemon. Yeah. Unfortunate. I was honestly thinking, or slash hoping that... Well, okay, so he actually might knock out Landorus here with Gyarados. Thunder Wave. Yeah, I think this one's over. Uh, I have to go for Hyper Voice. Hope, or hope I survive the Landorus. Okay, he's even got Poison Jab. <laughs> Yeah, I figured I would be able to take that. Okay, so if he, hopefully he knocks out. Okay, I was going to say, please knock it out. Okay, so if he's not, I assume he is, because that's the whole point, or one of the strong points of Komo is being, yeah, soundproof. I kind of had a hope that he's not. And then get like a crit on Gyarados or something. So I thought I had that one in the bag for a little bit, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, if, uh, if Landorus went down to that Z-move, then, well, no, I guess I needed Gardevoir and Zapdos on the field at the same time, but I, I, w I needed to set up Trick Room, but I guess I don't, even then, I don't know if I would have been able to, well, well, if, I guess if he double protected and I set up Trick Room, then yeah, I could have pulled that on top, because I could have hit the Komo with a Psychic, and then... I could have, and then Gyarados would have been, uh, who knows. So, some good games today as well. So I, th I might, or I don't know. It's, using Landorus has always been, I don't know. People say, I mean, it's people say it's so good and it seems like it's so good, but I just don't know how to use it properly. I need to work on my using Pokemon that don't have Protect properly. If I would have... No, I don't even know if I had saved Incineroar if that would have made much of a difference, but... No, not much to say. Probably going to be looking at a new team. I mean, there's lots out there, so I'm going to play with some 
maybe do like a QR code, like every video or something. I, I was thinking about t that today where there's a lot of Pokemon out there, a lot of teams out there that I can experiment with and see what we got. So probably going to be it here. You can consider it a, a rage quit for losing so much with this team. But that's pretty much going to be it. So if you guys get any suggestions for new teams, any QR codes, you're always feel free to, or you're always free to leave them. If you have any suggestions, also feel free to let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.